YouTube has a predator problem, but you didn't need me to tell you this. It's something that anyone that's been on YouTube for long enough knows about, and it's something YouTube itself knows about, but they never seem to do anything about it. Although, to be fair to YouTube, they never seem to go after anyone that goes against the guidelines, no matter how bad. Those animal abuse channels that Penguin Zero talked about and whose video almost has 2 million views now, most of those channels are still up and have been for years. Lion Maker, a confirmed predator that went to jail and posted a 15-year-old's nudes on Twitter for thousands to see, he still uploads for thousands of children playing Minecraft despite going to jail for preying on those children. I'm fake station using people like George George Floyd, Chadwick Boseman, and now Ruth Bader and Brianna Taylor for views. They're still all out on the site. In fact, when their main channel was reported for this stuff, YouTube gave it back to them because they saw nothing wrong with it. No, guys, I think it was the mass reports that we were getting, guys, over the last few weeks, guys. But it was just a false takedown for, like, harassment or bullying, whatever, guys. But we got our channel back. Last but certainly not least, Onision, someone that has groomed teenagers, harassed his exes, false reported more videos than I can count, and is probably the most reported person on the site. He still gets to make content, even though other platforms like Patreon kicked him off for this behavior. YouTube just keeps letting him make videos for a predominantly teenage girl audience, despite being a predator and just being an awful person in general, despite being the biggest scumbag on the platform. Despite being an abusive monster, and there are so many other people like this on the platform that I'm just not mentioning because if I did, I'd be here listing them all day. A few days ago, hashtag AnswerUsPedoTube was trending on Twitter, with thousands of tweets from people pushing it to the world. But why? When I got the tweet, I was confused about it. Not the fact that this was happening, because YouTube is full of so many powder kegs, that one going off isn't surprising. But the fact that it was going off now did. We're not even a month after the Markiplier Penguin Zero strikes, and here YouTube is again turning the platform against them. You think they would learn how to not turn the platform against themselves, but hey, they never learn. It all started when a YouTube channel named Mama Max did a video about hunting predators on a children's dating app, which the idea of children having a dating app is also really worrying and disturbing. If you don't know who he is, I didn't either until I looked him up. He's a pretty big channel on YouTube. He has over half a million subscribers and his latest uploads get around a million views each. They're sporadic, but still, they're high quality stuff. He started off on YouTube four years ago doing animation videos, but instead of being like Jaden Animations and talking about like Animal Crossing or Pokemon, he talks about terrorism and bullies. So it's not the same lighthearted stuff, but still. The video's got a good amount of support too, with his sixth video about loneliness almost having 2 million views. For two years, he would continue making this content with his life sucks and his life not sucks videos until he slowly transitioned into talking about movies and games, and then he slowly transitioned into talking about more serious stuff, like doing deep dives into games and other disturbing media, with his most recent uploads focusing on predators on like social media, tricking them so that he could give information to the FBI so they can go to jail. But recently, YouTube decided instead of going after predators, you know, all the confirmed known ones on the site that everyone talks about. They decided to take down his hunting predators on a children's dating app video for bullying. Yes, this is how far YouTube is willing to go to protect these types of people. Protecting actual predators by saying what he's doing is bullying. All the actual harassment and gaslighting on the platform is fine. But trying to stop predators is too much, man. Gotta stop that. Take his video down. Now, it would be one thing if the video showed too much or was a little too explicit, but it wasn't. YouTube just decided to take it down for no reason. And it wasn't even like he was going after one of their predators, so I don't know why they cared so much. Now, he was actually struck two weeks ago. From a re-upload I found, it was at least that long ago. Now, he's been trying to get it back peacefully from YouTube for a while. He was posting memes about it on Twitter before he made the hashtag. And the hashtag was just him asking people to help get his video back because YouTube was just refusing to answer him and just denying all of his applications. And what would you know, as soon as this gets any traction, YouTube decides to tweet at him saying they did see it earlier, which is funny since the appeal was denied. But since then, it's been more than a day, and they still haven't given the video back. And whether or not they give it back is just at the whims of YouTube at this point, but I hope he does get it back. Because this sets a worrying precedent for everyone else. Is YouTube going to go after other people that call out predators now? Is my channel going to get removed for making videos about Lion Maker and Mini Lad? Is anyone else going to get removed because of this? I don't know, and that's what's scary. YouTube's way of doing these things is so backwards that following the guidelines might get your video taken down, but going against it publicly doesn't. So despite the fact that someone like Onision's been going against the guidelines for years, he's still on the site. Because this is just actively defending criminals, the worst type of criminals too. And it just seems like YouTube's actively trying to cause another adpocalypse. You know what caused the last adpocalypse? Matt, what is it? 
If you don't remember him, he's the guy that exposed the exploitation of children on YouTube. Now YouTube's monetizing the sexualization of children, which in my opinion was a valid thing to criticize. But this blew up a lot. Everyone heard about it. A bunch of investors and advertisers pulled out of YouTube for a couple months, and it hurt everyone. And instead of Matt doing this because he wanted the platform to improve and he didn't think all this would have happened, he seemed to really be doing this out of spite and milked it until his eventual departure from YouTube. Where he is now is anyone's guess, but if YouTube doesn't do something about these people on the platform and the way they handle the people talking about these people on the platform, another one is bound to happen because someone's going to push a narrative that YouTube is defending predators and it will get to like a news site or something. And well, it looks like YouTube's doing it from what they're doing right now. If that happens, a bunch of people are going to pull out the ads again because they seem to be punishing the people exposing, like not even predators in general, just all these types of people that go against the guidelines more than the actual people that do it. Now, a lot of people are tweeting at Susan Wojcicki about this. Susan, if you're watching this, I'm not making fun of your name. I'm just bad at talking and I don't know how you say it. Telling her to give the video back. And although as the CEO, she should have more control, especially since tweets like this get tweeted at her all the time. It's not completely her fault. I feel like everyone just points to Susan as like, since she's the main figurehead of YouTube, it's her fault. When in reality, she probably doesn't even know about half the stuff you guys tweet at her. The way that YouTube is run is so backwards that complete departments of it go against each other at times and just don't know when the others do something. I'm not completely sure about it myself, but bigger people like Penguin Zero talk about it a lot, about how YouTube is run really poorly. But even with this, it isn't fair for people on the platform to have to work around YouTube's incompetence and outright defense of predators. If YouTube wanted us to police ourselves, then let us. Don't defend the predators and attack people trying to protect the children you refuse to protect. Because if this keeps up, I'm serious that some big news media or some company is going to pick it up. And when they do, everyone else will. And everyone on this platform will suffer from it. Especially if it's some big political celebrity or politician that makes it something. Because then it will be political and no one wants to deal with that. This platform is going to hurt a lot more than last time because of it because of how charged everything is now. That's all I wanted to say really. I like YouTube and I think they do a lot of good things on the platform, and I just want it to be less terrible. And if they keep having this behavior, other media like Vimeo or Storyfire might take its place. And when they start getting some traction, YouTube probably won't be able to take it back. Although to be fair, they also have their problems, like Storyfire especially, I might talk about that eventually. Also, I'll leave a link to Mama Max. He makes high quality stuff and the fact that YouTube's going after him isn't fair. Although be warned that his stuff isn't lighthearted. And I understand if his videos got limited ads or even demonetized because you know that the topic is serious. But straight up removing his video only makes them look like predator protectors and that's not something they should want to have on their record. I want to thank my members. They make me feel a little more comfortable talking about stuff like this. So I really do appreciate the support. With a special thank you to Ziffin Productions, Waffly Waffles, Thresher Last Name, Lone Shark Gaming, Bacon Shaken, Matthew Mathis, and Kanye and Ray J 2020. Thanks for the support and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.